Yeah, um, do you see a, a panoramic view of the opposition to Sanskrit or it's only the Jarvakas or the uh, atheism? No, this, this, the politicization, as he says, the politicization is because of a lot of lobby groups. And the lobby groups each have to find a cause and to differentiate themselves from others and create victimhood that Mereko Uskunon has a victim. So this victimization is a powerful weapon. Of course, it's divisive, but this is what fuels the politician's agenda. Now, countering this is Sanskrit Bharati. I was in the morning with Sanskrit Bharati, very impressed. We had 400 people there, standing room. And they I said, how many such groups do you have in India? They said 500. 500 groups in India. So. If you look at the number of people they're teaching, how rapidly they're growing, grassroots, poor people, it's very amazing. And they told me that some of the biggest successes of Sanskrit Bharati is in the slum areas, it's in the Dalit communities, it's in the very poor people. They want to learn Sanskrit. So this business of Sanskrit being elitist is being challenged.